Hello, my friend. Welcome to Unlock Class. So good to see you here. Today, we're going to study basic questions. Questions about your preferences. Questions about your routine. Questions about taste. Basic questions. And the answers for these questions. For example, I can ask you, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. But maybe your favorite color is green. Maybe your favorite color is pink, purple, yellow. We're going to study basic questions. But before we start, I always ask you to organize the place where you study. Maybe you are at home Maybe you were at work. Maybe you are in class, at school. And it's better to organize the place where you study. Grab pen. Grab paper, your notebook. To take notes during the class to ask your doubts, to ask your questions, to give your answers. The more you participate, the more opportunities you have. Let's start our preparation for this class. Okay, sit comfortably, sit comfortably. Let's stretch. We are going to stretch our arms. Maybe you don't see this arm, but that's okay. Stretch your arms and open your chest. Let's do this. Let me get the mic here. Let's do this. Open your arms and your chest. You are going to feel your back. You're going to squeeze your back. That's my goal. Open your chest and you're going to close your back. Open your fingers. Look at my fingers. Oh, open them. Yes, you are going to feel your shoulders. No problem. Now let's count to 10. Look up, look up, and let's count to 10, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Release your arms. Release your arms. Maybe you were feeling your back, you're feeling your shoulder. That's great. That's good. Release your arms. Now we're going to touch the hands and we're going we're doing the opposite now. We're going to touch the hands and push them forward. Now we are stretching our back and squeezing our chest and you count for us count to 10 okay start one all right release your shoulders Release your body, move your legs. Okay. Now 
you are going to do this. You are going to cr cross your fingers and push your hands like this. Stretch. You're going to stretch your arms now. Let's go. Stretch. And you count for us, okay? Start, please. One. All right. I am already sweating here. That's good. That's the sign of our exercise. Now, we're going to do this movement here. You put your hands in this position. Your elbows will be like this. And you are going to do up and down with your arms. Ten times. And you count for us, okay? Start, please. One. Right, release your arms. I am sweating. <laughs> We're doing this to increase your focus, to increase your concentration, to activate your brain. There are many researches that prove the influence of our body in our mind. In the past, we believed that the mind controls the body. Now, science is proving that the body has the same influence in the mind. So, if you feel stressed, if you feel down, activate your body, move your body. When you do it, your body sends the message to your brain that you were active, that you were with energy. Trust me, if you do it, you will feel better. Now let's breathe. We're going to breathe in, in three times. We're going to hold the breath and we're going to breathe out completely. Then we hold and breathe in again in three times. It's like this. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Breathe in in three times, okay? Hold. Release your belly. If you ask me, is this meditation, aerobics or English class? I tell you, this is English class. Now, the last thing to avoid interruptions, put your cell phone on silent, on flight mode. Flight mode. Flight mode, yeah, yeah. Now, I won't receive calls, messages, notifications. I will not be interrupted by this technology here. I will be 100% focused in your learning. 
Now I am 100% dedicated to your class. I want to see you speaking English. Are you prepared? Of course you are. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hello, my friend. Let's start with what? This is the most basic question in English. Let's start with personal information. We have three names. First, middle, and last name. My first name is Felipe. My middle name is Marx. My last name is Gibi. Felipe Marques Gibi is my full name. In my case, I am Mr. Gibi. If you are a woman and you were called in a formal situation, you are Miss plus your last name if you were single and you were Mrs. plus last name if you were married. My wife is Mrs. Jibi because she's married with me. My daughter is single. She is Miss Jibi. I am a man. I am Mr. Jibi. Okay? Another personal information. What's your ID number? In Brazil, we call RG, right? But in English, it's ID. What's your ID number? You tell me, it's, and you give me the number. What's your phone number? Speak. Okay. Okay, speak, practice the numbers. For example, if you ask me, Felipe, what's your phone number? I tell you, it's plus five, five, six, seven, nine, nine, six, four, six, one, 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 two. If you ask me, Felipe, what's your email address? I tell you, it's você aprende agora at gmail.com v o c e a p r e n d e a g o r a at remember this at gmail.com você aprende agora at gmail.com Now, let's start talking about routines. And my first question to you is what do you do in the morning? You can answer this question saying well, this is a conversation strategy. Well, it's an expression to give you time to think. Super used. Well, in the morning, I sleep. Then I wake up. I brush my teeth. I take a shower. I comb my hair, I dress up, I have breakfast, I have coffee. We use this verb have for the meals, okay? For food and for drinks too. Have. Can I use drink? Yes, no problem. For liquid, drink is okay too. For food, eat. No problem. I eat breakfast. Good. I drink coffee. Good. I have breakfast. 
Good. I have coffee. Good. When it's cold, I have a tea. I drink water in the morning. Then I go to work. I go to my school. I take the bus. I take the metro. I drive to my work. I work in the morning. I text my friends. I check my email. I watch TV. I listen to the radio. I study English. And then I ask you, what do you have for lunch? You tell me, well, my lunch is very basic. I often eat rice, beans, lettuce, tomato, eggs. And you see here the images of food and you get hungry. And you don't want to study anymore. You want to go eat. No, calm down. I can show you more delicious food. Barbecue. Chicken. Vegetables. Pizza. Pasta. We are working with food vocabulary. We are talking about lunch. And then I ask you. What do you do in the afternoon? In English, 12 p.m. We call noon. Afternoon is after noon. When you say good afternoon, it's because it's after 12 p.m. It's after noon. So, what do you do in the afternoon? You can tell me, well, Philippe, in the afternoon, I relax, I just sit down and read, or I work, I talk to my friends, I meet my family. I talk to my dad, I talk to my mom, I do my homework, I study English. You see that I want to see you study English in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. <laughs> my mission is to see you speaking English, my friend. What else do you do? You can tell me, well, I make calls, I surf on the web, I write, I listen to music. And then I ask you, okay, and what do you do at night? You tell me, well, Philippe, at night I go home, I stay quiet, I prepare my dinner, I read the news, I watch videos, I prepare my bed, and I go to bed. And then, I can ask you, 
What's your favorite food? What's your favorite day of the week? We normally like Friday because it's the beginning of the weekend, right? There is an expression in English called TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. It's like what we say in Brazil, sexto. In English you say TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. What's your favorite sport? What do you do in your free time? What do you do when you were nervous? This is something to think about. What do we do when we are nervous? When we are stressed? We are living stressful moments and this is not from this moment. It's not because we have a disease right now. This is from humanity. We always have anxiety. We always have challenges, troubles, problems. And when we feel stressed, it's nice to understand why we are stressed, to understand what we can do to cope with stress. One simple thing is to breathe in and breathe out. Another very simple thing is to write down your thoughts. Well, I have this problem. For example, last night I ate too much. I am trying to keep a balanced diet. And last night I ate pasta with cheese, with cream. This is delicious, but it's heavy. It's fat. So, I ate too much. This is one problem, or not a problem, this is one fact. This is one fact. Today, if I want to deal with it, I can write about it. I ate too much last night. What can I do about it? Well, today I will walk. Today I will eat lighter. Today, I will sleep earlier. I need to take care of my health if I am fat, if I am tired. What can I do about it? I will balance my diet. I will exercise. I will sleep better. And when I say sleep better, is going to bed early, avoiding screen at night, turning off the lights. So, to cope with stress, you can write. Another very good and effective way to cope with stress is talking to friends. When you talk to your friends, you open your feelings. You express what you are feeling. And 
your friend can bring a different understanding of that situation. Probably you will laugh about the problem. Once I had a problem with my brother and because he corrected my daughter and, and I didn't like the way he corrected her. And I came to talk to my friends to see the absurd fact of my brother correcting my daughter. And they started to laugh. And they said, come on, Philippe, this is nothing. This is normal. This is going to happen forever in your life. So they made that problem that I was presenting something simple, something regular something basic, you know, worthless. And this is the value of talking to your friends. They show you a different point of view from the same situation, from the very same situation. They have a different point of view. We're going to study the expression where now. Are you prepared? Yes, you are always prepared. I love to see you here. Three, two, one. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Let's keep studying basic questions. Questions that you ask and answer about information. Questions about routines questions and answers about tastes. Let me just prepare the board here. Mr. Felipe Dib, the topic today, oops, what and where. My goodness, there is no ink. Invisible. <laughs> Excuse me. In English, when people sneeze, you say, God bless you. In Portuguese, we say, health. In English, you say, God bless you. All right, so what and where? Let's see questions using where now. If I ask you, where are you now? Where is your mom? Where are your friends? Where is your dad? Where are your brothers? Here we have questions using where and verb be. Where are you now? Where is your mom? Where are your friends? Where is your dad? Where are your brothers? 90% of these questions you answer with three locations. At home, at work, in class. I ask you, where are you now? You can tell me, at home or I am at home. Where is your mom? She is at work. Where are your friends? Plural. So, they are in class. Okay.
Now, other questions. Where do you live? Where do you study? Where do you go in your free time? Where do you have lunch? Now we're using different verbs. Where do you live? Where do you study? Where do you go in your free time? Where do you have lunch? You can answer. Where do you live? I live in... And you tell me your city. I live in Sao Paulo. I live in Rio. I live in Salvador. I live in Belo Horizonte. I live in Campinas. In my case, I live in Campo Grande. Where do you study? You can say, I study at home. Or, I study at, and you give the name of your school. Where do you go in your free time? I go to the park, I go to the mall, I go to the, I don't know, to the, I go to my friend's house. This. Where do you have lunch? You can say at school, at home, at work. Okay. My questions were about you. Where do you live? Where do you study? Where do you go in your free time? Where do you have lunch? All right. Now, we're going to study questions using where about things, about objects. Where is your cell phone? Where is your wallet? Where is your pen? Where is your book? Where is your cell phone? Where is your wallet? Where is your pen? Where is your book? And now we study the locations. This location here is next to. This location here is in. This location here is on. And this location here is under. In, on, under, next to. In, on, under, next to. Now you tell me. In, on, under, next to. On, in, under, next to. Okay. If I ask you again, where is your cell phone? You can tell me. It's on the table. 
Where is your wallet? It's in my bag. Where is your pen? It's next to my book. Where is your book? It's under the chair. Now I'm going to draw these locations and you tell me the name of the location, okay? Here we go. All right, these are baskets and I'm going to draw balls. We're going to see the location and you are going to tell me in, under, <laughs> in, on, under, and next to, okay? Let's go, my friend. In, in, on, under, in, on. Mm -hmm. This line now. This is next to on in in under next to. Next to. Under, in, next to, under, on, in, next to, in, on, under, on, in, let's write. In, in, on, next to, in, next to, in, on. Remember these locations. In, on, under, Next to. Where is your bag? Where is your TV? Where are you? At home? Okay, three, two, one. Hello, my friend. Let's talk about hobbies. Hobbies are those activities that relax us. Things we like to do to get rid of stress, to get rid of anxiety. And this is something I really want to talk to you. It's okay to feel stressed. It's okay to feel anxious, nervous, angry. We all have these feelings sometimes. The problem is when we don't cope with these feelings. And our hobbies are an excellent strategy to cope with stress.
I like to go biking on Sundays. Going biking relaxes me. And my question to you now is, what are things that relax your mind? What do you do when you feel down? I recommend you to move your body when you feel stressed. Move your body. Go for a walk. Go running. Jump. If you can't leave your home, move your arms. Move your body. Activate your brain. Activate your body. Comment here things that make you relax. I want to show you Part of my biking on Sunday. Have a look. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Campo Grande, Mato Grosso do Sul. Should come and visit us. Yes, my friend. Find a hobby. Find things that distract you from your everyday activities. There is a friendly ant walking on my arm. Three, two, one. Hello, my friend. Yes, we're finishing one more class. And when we started this class, I asked you, what's your favorite color? And I told you that my favorite color is blue. And I also told you, maybe, your favorite color is green, or pink, or purple, or yellow. Now, I need to reinforce with you the importance of this word, what. This is the most basic word for questions. What is your name? What's your phone number? What do you do in the morning? What's this? You answer, it's a cell phone. What's this? It's a water bottle. And I'll get some water, okay? What time do you have breakfast? What time do you have lunch? What's your favorite food? These are questions with what. The next WH question is where to talk about locations. Where do you live? Where do you study? Where is your wallet? Where is your pen? Where do you work? In the future, we're going to study when, who, and why. Okay? Comment your answers here. The more you participate, the more opportunities you have. And when we come to this part of the class, I feel grateful because I am following your progress. I see that you are growing. And I always tell you that growth, progress, 
mean happiness. When we are progressing, we are happy. When we are growing, we are happy. We feel gratitude. And this is amazing. Thank you very much. I am Felipe Gibi. See you next class.